Welcome back to Fortune Trusses. And if you're new over here, welcome to Fortune Trusses. Over here, I just do my hair. I am on a healthy, relaxed hair journey. So I try to do healthy things with my hair. So today, in this video, I'm not doing anything with my hair. My hair is wrapped up in this lovely head wrap. Um, I have plenty of head wrap tutorials on my channel. So definitely go check them out. Today, I am showing you guys how to um, alleviate itchy braids. So, if you ever got braids and your hair just will not stop itching, and it's like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, it itched so bad. You ever wonder why? Well, I did. I did because I was like, this, this can't be, this can't be right. Like my hair was not itching like this before I got the braids. And as soon as I got the braids in my hair, my hair is itching like crazy. And it's like an uncontrollable itch. It's like you put oils and all types of stuff on your hair and your hair is still itching uncontrollably. So I did some research and I found out why. So I will plug that into this video somewhere. But yeah, so basically, the way that the hair is made, or so how they say the synthetic hair is made, um, it's made out of chemicals. So the chemicals it is what irritates your hair. So I looked up, I looked up on YouTube, of course, um, ways to try to take away that itch. So what I found is a solution. Um, that's just made of out of apple cider vinegar, water, and water, basically. So this is how I treat my hair before I put my hair, my before I install my braids. So I treat my braiding hair before I install it in my hair, um, just to try to minimize that itch. Um, it's not going to take out the itch completely. Um, your, your, your scalp may be still itching, um, depending on what's going on with your scalp and what you use it in, who braid, braided your hair. If the hair is too tight, your hair may still, still itch, um, but it will minimize the itching drastically. It is, has definitely improved my hair. Um, when I put my braids in, I had very minimum itching. Matter of fact, I, my hair really don't start itching until probably like after that first week. Because for me, when I put my braids in my first week, I don't put anything in my hair. I want to leave my hair as it is. I'm not telling anybody they should do that. For my hair, I know that works because I treat my hair before I put my braids in and I make sure my hair is moisturized, um, oiled, all of that, all of that good stuff. So I treat my hair beforehand. So for a week, I don't put anything in my hair. And by the end of that week, then my hair is back to an uh, itchy state because it is pretty dry by that point. So it's not going to take away the itch totally, but it will minimize the itch tremendously. So, like I said, it is apple cider vinegar and water. Um, I may plug into the video why I use apple cider vinegar and water. So, I already have some actually mixed up in this bottle here. So, basically, you just want to make sure it's all mixed up together. And what I usually do is probably usually like the night before I'm about to do my braids, um, I try to treat my hair and um with this solution so this is my braiding hair the braiding hair that i will be using um so i'm gonna treat all of this braiding hair on this video with you guys because i will be braiding my hair really soon usually i try to have it um leaving out to dry for a day but I don't think I have a day. I think I will be starting my braids, doing my braids tonight. So as you can see, they come, they already come bundled up. This is three little small bundles or whatever. So I'm just going to take them out like this. And I am going to place them on this hanger. Oh, I dropped, I dropped some. <laughs> no, I dropped one. Okay. 
So I'm going to place them on this hanger like this. So what you really, what you want to do is the the part that you're going to put closest to your scalp, like this part, you want to completely soak that area in. Oh, okay. This is a piece of lint. I was like, what? What did it say? It was a piece of lint. It fell on the floor. Anyway, <laughs> um, you want to completely soak that area because this is the part that will be closest to your scalp. And that is what is making your head itch. Um, the actual the the hair that they use is this conecolon. Cause I just seen something recently about conecolon on here. I'm not sure if this con yeah, this is conecolon. So um I will be doing some research about some conecolon hair really soon. I seen some some recently um, about conecolon hair is toxic, and I really want to know if that's the same research that I did to know that that it is made out of chemicals. But anyway, um, the the part that is closest to your scalp that is the area that you want to drench with the apple cider vinegar solution. Now, for my braids, these braids that I'm putting in my hair, I will not be using, well, I, yeah, I will not be using this side of the hair because I have to extend this hair because I got the wrong size hair. So the rest of my hair is, I think it's 54 inches. And this, this hair is the shortest one, the shortest size. And I think this is 24 inches. So I will be extending um, this hair to make it around the same length as the 54 inch. So I'll show you guys how we'll be doing that on the video. So the part that I will be, that will be closest to my scalp will not be this part. It will probably be down this way somewhere. So for this hair, I am going to try to saturate all of the hair because this part of the hair will be what's kind of close to my scalp. And I want to make sure that I get the solution on the part that's going to be closest to my scalp. So that's what you would do. You just spray it. If you're going to, if, if it's going to be the top part, spray the top part. For me, it's not going to be the top part. It's going to be pretty much the, 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 the longest pieces of hair because I have to double the hair to make it longer. So I'm just going to spray it. And I will tell you that if you know apple cider vinegar, apple cider vinegar has a very small, a very uh, strong, a very strong rancid, rancid kind of smell. Um, so it's very, very strong. So wherever you hang it up, just know that that area will smell like the apple cider vinegar. All right. So I'm going to let this hang, um, hang and dry before I use it and right after right before i use it i'm gonna take my coconut oil because coconut oil has good properties in it i'll plug that into this video as well i'm gonna take my coconut oil and i'm gonna wipe the top of it and also wipe um take the coconut not a lot of coconut oil because you don't want your hair to be oily and greasy when you do your braids or when whoever do your braids you don't want the hair to be oily and greasy because that will make it harder for whoever for you for whoever is braiding your hair to grip your hair so you don't want to put a lot of this coconut oil on it but you know just lightly through the hair um put the coconut oil on it because it has properties in it that will also basically treat the itch basically um and it also has a better smell so it has a better smell and it'll make the hair smell a little bit better but it will um once it dry it, it the smell is not as noticeable um as it is while it's wet so i'm just going to take this i'm going to hang this up and after it dry and put my coconut oil on it and i'm gonna be ready to go and that is how i cut down the itch in my braids so my braids won't be itching so much so that concludes my video thank you for watching my video if you have not liked the video yet, please make sure that you like the video. If you found something helpful in this video, please make sure you like the video and please make sure that you comment. If you found something in this video that you, you did not like, please leave a comment. My comments are open to all opinions. All opinions matter. So even if it's not, 
a good opinion or maybe people don't think it's a good opinion, just leave your opinion in the comments. That's what the comment section is for. And we will talk there. If you're new over here, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Please, 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 please hit that subscribe button. And that is it. So I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.